That there is a dumpster. And what we're putting in that is everything I can't give away, sell. And then uh, let's see if we can make this happen. Let's see. See that? Yeah, can you read that? Can you read that right there? What that says is uh, this is a contract for an RV inspection. So uh, theoretically, <clears throat> tomorrow morning, Phil of uh, Phil's uh, Inspection Services Limited Incorporated is going to run over to uh, the owner's house and uh, I will have spent $695 for him to spend six to eight hours there dicking with it and an additional $125 for an oil and uh, radiator fluid analysis and uh, right now I'm just walking down the hill to get to the mailbox yeah, yeah, yeah. Whee. so we look up the hill look at that I can't even see up the hill yeah did you see what they've done to the ditch down here they went right to town installing stuff so anyway so up the hill and down the hill Fresh tire tracks. So there must be mail. Yay, there's mail. It's probably just junk mail. Uh, phone bill and bank statement and junk mail. So uh, that's looking straight across and then we can look up the hill to the house. Quite a steep driveway. But uh, yeah, the Department of Transportation came by and fixed up this in a big way. They put a lot of effort into uh, fixing up the ditch because so much water comes down this hill that uh, yeah it was just washing things out anyway so that's the camera level right there so yeah it's about 50 feet from the road up to my driveway up to the top of the hill at least at least it's funny I think the guy who had this before me was going to carve something into that maybe I don't know it looks like something that that's what you would do so I patched the driveway the other week put some fresh tar down in a couple of holes I asked the local contractor to give me a quote on sealing this driveway but he hasn't gotten back to me yet but then again maybe maybe he uh Maybe he's, uh, you know, got busy. You never know. So, the, I sent off the replacement title application for this piece of junk. Because you cannot send a car off to the, junk, to the junkyard in Maine without a title. So this has been sitting here for about four years. Tires are all flat. But now that I've got the title app, title coming, I'll be able to uh, I'll be able to get this sold off to a junk dealer for 100, 200, whatever they'll pay me for it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so that's the update. There's the dumpster, and we're getting stuff in it. Anyway, so that's that's pretty much all I had to say for the moment. What? Oh, what's the doggy doing? What are you doing back there? Come here. Come on. What are you doing? She's back there eating dirt. You watch. She'll come up here and she'll have dirt on her face. Do you have dirt on your face? Come here. You have dirt on your tongue. Do you? Do you have dirt on your tongue? Anyway. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. What you doing? Go get the mail. Okay. All right. Are we recording? We are recording. How do you like them apples? Wow, okay, it's September 2nd, uh, 2020, and uh, yesterday I uh, received a inspection report on a Safari Trek 31 SBD. 
out in, out in Western South Dakota. And anyway, so uh, I'm going to walk down and get the mail. So I literally, I mean, I literally spent a good 10 hours going over the inspection port report, doing lookups on the internet, a uh, two-hour phone call with a friend uh, who I found online who is a, an RV inspector. Uh, thanks, Ike. And, um, and uh, then started crafting the... Uh, letter to the owners you know um um they're wow look at that tree you know what that tree's that tree's worth a picture almost look at this thing dead just as dead as it can be almost not quite dead and all the way dead but getting there poor old rotten out old pasture pine is what we call those that gives you an idea of the slope of the hill out in front of the house here Oh, anyway, so, um, those rigs, you know, I'm going to put this down while this car goes by because I think people just don't know what to think. So I'm going to just lower it. Across the street, it's funny, he, he waved right at me and I, I really don't know who the hell that was. And no mail, so that's good. Up the hill. This is a uh, just had a nice little rain shower. Um, squeaky boots. So I put in the offer um, based on what I thought the rig was worth and uh, how I got to that point is a little interesting, I guess. We'll talk about it. Um, based on what I've seen out on the market, if that the RV I'm looking at was in good shape, and I think I think maybe I'll also toss some pictures in here when I go to edit this, whenever I edit it. <coughs> so I think that uh, if the rig was in good shape, it would get about thirty-four thousand dollars on the market um, I'm getting there on the front of the house gotta get the clapboards on hopefully that happens in the next week and the Quonset hut back there has got to get straightened out mow the lawn title on this thing is on its way ordered that from the state so I'll have that soon so see, let's just sit right here so, yeah, so, so the rig should be worth 34000 if it was in good shape. But it's, it's not really in good shape. It's in fair shape. Some of the stuff on it is in pretty good shape. And, uh, traffic. So started going through the report and I think I'll probably make a separate video about that because um, it would make sense and I think it would also you know be an interesting subject but um, I, I started going through and making a list of all the things that it would take to uh, bring it up to good status it's never going to be very good probably and it's never going to be excellent uh, it's 16 years old 52,000 miles approximately so it's been around a while, and it's seen uh, five owners at least. I would be owner number six. And um, there's damage in the back bumper that was going to take some fiberglass work. And that fiberglass work is going to cost at least 3500 bucks. Plus, it's going to have to uh, require uh, replacing... A cargo door and finding that uh, you know it's crapshoot you might find it right off the bat or it might be something you never find um, and uh, also there's a lot of deadwood in here that I hadn't noticed um, the furnace isn't working properly 
Uh, the hot water heater doesn't run on electric and there's evidence of a burnout event back there that the uh, wires overheated and burned up. So, uh, there's a, a, a fog light bulb missing. The roof needs to be redone. Um, window seals on the passenger side uh, uh, windows need some help. Um, yeah, lots of uh, lots of little issues need addressing, and uh, Whee. yeah. So yeah, um, it started. Oh yeah, and the awning is the awning is borked. Um, one of the arms is uh, uh, really dysfunctional. It got it got wrecked in the wind or something. Um, you can see the view out that way. It's pretty good. So, uh, uh, I just started adding it all up. Uh, all the detectors are out of date. There's no proper valve handle on the LP tank. The LP uh, regulator isn't reading the right uh, pressure. It's uh, at 9 PSI. It should be up at... Uh, this is a heck of a little limb, isn't it? It's just kind of died right on the tree. And the tree itself is doing okay, but this one limb is uh, just just didn't make it. <laughs> it's interesting. Um, so, and uh, the steps, uh, the steps, the automatic steps that come in and out are uh, bent from uh, some kind of trauma. There's welding up under the front end that may or may not be uh, what should be there. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, 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 it was difficult. So I came up with uh, at least $10,000 worth of work that would need to be done in order to bring the rig where it should be at good status, where everything is functional and operational and, and does what it's supposed to do. And, um, on that basis, uh, I, I put in an offer of, uh, 24000 uh, they had an, an original asking price in the range of 32000 and uh, they lowered that to um, $28,000. Um, but it is what it is. The, uh, the rig is, uh, not that it's old, but it just hasn't been really well maintained. Um, and it just shows there's a lot of wear and tear that just shouldn't be there. So, uh, anywho, so the letter I put together is just goes on and on and on. Uh, there's like a list of 20, 25 different items that are start off bullet pointed of, well, this doesn't work and will need to be fixed. This is does work, no, you know, in the case of the, uh, in the case of the awning, In the case of the awning, you can't get parts for it, so there's no way to there's no way to repair it. It has to be replaced. Well, if it has to be replaced, man, um, it ain't gonna be cheap. Uh, but you know, I gave them only fifteen hundred on it instead of maybe the twenty five to thirty five hundred it probably will take to replace it. So. Um, Big, long, big, big, long letter. And then I sent it to them in an email. They were nice enough to tell me that they are out in uh, the Badlands this afternoon with other family visiting, so they probably don't even have it yet. Um, look, it's a well protected by an old tire. So... Yeah, we'll see. Let's see. Maybe they come back with a counter offer. Maybe they look at my uh, the long version of my offer, and they say, "Come get it." So we will see. We will see. Anywho, talk to you later. <laughs>